Hey guys, it's me Greg and today we're going to talk about how to put waypoints into your Audi 4. There's a couple different ways. Uh, one is you can go right to your Audi 4 and put waypoints in and I'll explain that in the next video. But today we're going to have a little lengthy video about how to do it from an outside source. In this particular case I'm using XC Planner. Uh, XC Planner is a free software program written by some guy that I consider to be a sky god because whoever wrote this is brilliant and man I wish I could go over there and shake his hand. But anywho, to get to XC Planner you go to www.xcplanner.appspot.com That's xcplanner.appspot.com When you first open XC Planner up you're going to have a world view and basically when you go to the go to area um, you will type in where you want to start your flight from. So in my case, I want to do a local airport. And I type in the name of the airport, which is Air Trek Airport. And I put Waterloo, because that's the town it's located in, just for whatever. And instantly, you can see it pops up in the map view. In the middle of this right here, this little arrow, you see it's right in the air track. So I go and I make the map a little smaller and I put this first waypoint by holding down on my left mouse button over it and I drag it to where that little arrow was and then I drag this waypoint, the ending point, real close. And the reason I do that is so now when I blow it back up, I'm pretty good and I want to now position this point right at air track. That's where I'm taking off from, right in the middle of the airfield. Doesn't matter which way I'm going. And so now, just to make this simple, I'm not going to go all the way over, you know, on a big thing. But let's just say I'm going over to the Seneca Airport. Okay, um, that's a that's a task, or in my case, that's a flight plan. I'm going from point A to point B. I could save that right now, but in my case. I have gone to this menu over here and I want to uh, go to preferences and right here where it says a contest, I'm not in a contest, I want to go and make a free flight or an open distance, it really doesn't matter, but a free flight is what I call it because I'm doing an XC flight, I want to make sure it's in miles, I want to make sure it's in feet, uh, leave the coordinates alone and now I close it. So now I know that I've got a free flight from point A to point B at 0.7 miles. So I think, well, that's not a big flight. So let's go over here, and I grab that middle arrow, and I dragged it up using the left mouse button holding it, and I made another waypoint. My original two waypoints have stayed the same. So now I'm seeing, let's say, my buddy Jimmy's house. And then over here, I also know, hey, wait a minute, on the way to Jimmy's house over here, there's a nice farm I want to visit. It's a really cool farm, or you know, whatever. Uh, then from Jimmy's house, I go, oh, I can't go into that airport because I know it's a counterclockwise landing zone, so I got to go south. So not only am I going to see Jimmy's house here, I want to just pull this down so that I'm coming south from the airport, and that way I can fall into the pattern. I'm going to shrink this down so we can see it again. Now, as you notice, you know, this is just a random flight. I'm now going 2.3 miles. You know, and I can call it a day. It might be a 20-mile flight, a 10-mile flight, whatever you feel comfortable with. Or I might say, hey, I want to go back to the air trek after I circle that thing. In this case, I'd go back over to the menu. Oops, didn't want to do that. Close that. Uh, go back over here to menu and hit close flight, and you'll see it just automatically goes back to my starting point. So at this point, I'm ready to download. Now... Really, I'm not ready to download, but for our case, to make the tape shorter, I'm going to. But usually at this point, what I do now is I go from the map view up in the upper left to satellite view. And now I can see what I'm flying over. And I may spend, you know, a half hour. I may spend an hour and a half. I may take these waypoints, and when I blow this up, you know, I might see things that I'm flying over like a power line or something, you know, that I don't want to fly over. So I will, you know, maybe move these waypoints around where going to my buddy Jimmy's house or over here to see the cows 
you know, I'm flying over a bunch of trees and I need to make this one come up. Or I might want to come down here and go this way up or whatever the case may be. I'm just moving things around, you know, and I can zoom in, you know, even more once I get to a particular waypoint. Or I might want to add a waypoint, another one somewhere. So once we're done and I'm really happy with it, we're now going to go download. So to download, I come back over to the menu, I hit download. And I see all my waypoints, there's seven of them, from landing all the way through to, to take off to landing. I come down to the box that says Format, and the Audi 4 is in a CU software format, so I highlight CU. The route name, in this particular case, just to make it easy, we're just going to call it X, oops, XXX1, alright? And then, that's not a... Uh, cancel hit the wrong button I have a touch screen sorry about that so download back to the CU back to the um, route name is XXX1 and then back to come on stupid thing to the waypoint prefix which CU files uh, use cup C U P. Okay, so I made sure that the format is C U. I've named the route and I made the waypoint prefix cup C U P. And I now say download. And I'm going to use the save as. And the reason I'm using the save as button is because I want to put this on my desktop. So I'm going to put it on my desktop. And now I know it's there. Okay. And so I've highlighted desktop. The file is XXX1. I don't have to put point cup again. It's already going to be saved at. And I say save. So now I know it's there. Um, I'm going to close out of this. And I'm going to close out of the XC Planner now. Okay. That XC Planner is a great program. If you get around and play with it, you know, you'll find a lot more things to do with it. But um, now I'm going to go over and open up my files. And I want to find, I'm going to hook up my Audi and connect it like I showed you in an earlier preview. And I'm going to go to Files. And if I go down, I'm going to see that my Audi is connected and it's called, in my case, in my G file, that's what the USB is, and it's called TFAT. Okay, I want to expand that file so that I can see all the folders in that file. Okay, now I'm directly in the main file of, of the Audi instrument. Waypoints is where I'm going to put that file that we found or that I just made. So now that I got that, um, you know, showing because I expanded the file, I'm going to come up here to my desktop. Okay, now my desktop files are showing. I'm going to scroll this back down a little bit so I can see that waypoint file. And I'm going to take that XX1, I'm going to left mouse hold it, left mouse click hold it, and they're going to come all the way down here and put it into the waypoint file and now that XX1 is in waypoints um, just to make sure I'll go on waypoint and click it and there it is so we're done with that now okay and I can get out of that and we're done with the computer so now I will come over and eject my um, eject my Audi which is coming over here this little USB thing down here and say open or whatever eject TFAT that's the Audi I'm gonna eject that it'll tell me it's I can now unplug it which I now unplug it and now I'm gonna open my Audi up and we're going to see how we put this in here so right now I'm inside the house so I don't know how this map is gonna show or how the GPS is gonna show it doesn't matter but actually I've had it on for a while so it's picked up GPS it's showing where I'm at okay and to find this file that I just put in we're gonna go to menu we're gonna go to settings menu settings let me see if I get the camera here menu settings then we're gonna go to next then we're gonna go to files okay now you see these boxes here and these three dots next to waypoints you're gonna click that and 
right now this is the one that was active so I want to take that off but now I'm going to look for that XXX one so I'm going to scroll down and there it is at the bottom XXX one cup I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to say make it active okay to highlight it and make it active and I'm going to say okay active okay and I'm going to say okay again And it's loading the airspace and all other stuff. Now, it's not showing up yet here because I haven't loaded in. I've just made it active inside the machine and saved in the machine. So I got to go to menu again. Now I got to go to task. Then I have to go to tools. Then I'm going to load the task. And as you see, that's my one that I just put in because it's active, even though it doesn't say xxxx1 or whatever I just made that active so that's it I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna say okay and now because I'm way north of that airport it's actually added an extra thing telling me to go way down here so if I just pan over if I was actually turn this on now and I was at the airport where I was supposed to be at <coughs> um, excuse me then you would see my task and there's my task. So if I was at the airport, you would only see all this. And once I started taking off and got up to speed, it would do the flight. And, and there you go. So, you know, I can zoom in or zoom out. That's the 5 mile. I can do a 10 mile. You know, I can do a 20 mile. I can do a 0.5 mile, whatever. But you can see now, you know, it's, I made that too small. Let's just say 2 mile. You can see all the different waypoints. And I'm ready to go. So when I leave here, I want to say menu. I want to save that. So I'm going to go to next, save settings, yes. And now, you know, my flight's over, whatever, or I'm going to go to the airport and I'm just going to exit. And I want to save that profile and say yes because I'm saving it and that's where I want to go. So now when I get to that airport and I turn the Audi on, you won't have that long blue line you saw. You're just going to have all those waypoints show up. You know, you set up your machine, you turn your Audi on, and you take off. So I hope that shows you how to get it into your Audi. And like I said, my next one, I'll show you actually how to do it on the Audi itself. But I like the XC Planner because I can use that satellite mode. I can blow up the maps. I can really take my time and I can, you know, look for things to fly over and look for emergency landing zones. And that's really handy, especially um, when you're in a place you don't know. Like, for example, I, I was going to go to a fly-in this weekend. I don't know the area. So I can actually lay out a flight plan from that airport, having never been there, and kind of know that, hey, I've got, you know, 12 waypoints. I'm following this highway. I'm looking for, you know, the lake, the river you know the sewage plant or whatever i highlighted and i know i feel comfortable because i kind of know the area um it's just a big huge you know advantage than to just getting there now the next video i do will be as if i just actually got there and i never had a chance to look at anything and i just said you know i'm going to do it on the fly and because the screen is so small you know i just don't have the accuracy that i do like I do doing it on the computer, but I still have a good flight plan and I know, you know, my landing area and I'll get back safe. So I hope this video helps you. You have a great day and uh, like the video, share the video, and we'll do another one for you. Thanks. Bye.